Hello and welcome to another Canoe Diva hands-on video. My name is Simon Müller and today I'd like to show you how to test ECU individual diagnostic sequences which are needed in manufacturing, in after sales or in OTA use cases. To do so, we start the measurement in Canoe and we have the diagnostic console open and in this diagnostic console I will just click in the diagnostic sequence that I want to test later on. I can do that by start the macro recording here. And then, for example, if I want to test that the, all the identification services work properly, I just send them here, software version read, hardware supplier read, software supplier read, uh, issue serial number read. And once I'm done with that, I press on stop macro recording and then Canoo ask me to save the just recorded script. I will do that. And I select the place for that. I uh, don't want to save it here, but I want to save it where I got my Diva project. Save it. And then I'm done in Canoe. It's also possible in Canoe to replay that just recorded a sequence, but we can also make use of that in Diva. So we switch to Diva and there we tell Diva that we have that specific diagnostic job that we also want to test. So we go to jobs and we add that new job here. We give it a name and we decide what uh, kind of job this is. We have the choice between a diagnostic job and flash job. It's not a flash job. This flash job would re result in different uh, kind of tests and it's also testable but in this case it's a diagnostic job so we leave it on diagnostic job. We can select the runtime here in this case if we record it uh, in Canoe it's recorded via vector diagnostic scripting and we select vector diagnostic scripting here as an alternative we could also make use of an external uh, tester that uh, communicates via DPDU API so this is also possible that we uh, use that. Here we got uh, vector diagnostic scripting. So we need to configure the diagnostic script that we have just recorded. So it's here. Um, if we have a quick look into that script, it's just a .NET or C sharp code, um, which you can modify like you want to or like, like you need to. You do not have to use the micro recorder in Canoe to get something like that. You can also start implementing that from the scratch. And um, there's everything already there once you have a Canoe installed or, or you can also create such scripts using Indigo or maybe also Canopy. Good, so I will configure that here. And I also got the possibility to react on the script's output and interpret this output as a pass or a fail. So it's possible to add additional statements in the VDS script, which then result in a pass or a fail in the Diva test report that we get later on. So we switch to the test configuration and here under services and jobs, we can configure the conditions under which we want to execute uh, that particular job. So there by default, there's already one job uh, created. So which is just executed in the conditions where Canoe starts or the configura Canoe configuration starts, we can add new conditions. Uh, for example, uh, one condition uh, to test when the ignition is on. So select that here. Okay, okay. misclicked here. So I give it an, a name, ignition on. So to later have that. And uh, you can see there is also that option if you want to check expectation values. So by that, uh, Diva checks against configured, also for the, the script execution against configured expectation values. So what we can do, for example, we can go to software version read and uh, say, okay, we know we have the year uh, 21. So we want to check it against 21 as a constant value. It's also possible to check against dynamic values that are available in Canoe. Okay, so we have the year 21, we check against year 21, and I can configure that I also want to check the expectation values for that particular job execution. Okay, once we are done with the configuration, we go on generate, and then Diva generates the proper test.
Once the test generation is done, we switch to Canoe and import the just generated Diva test module. Okay, so we start the measurement and we open the test module and we will ignore the, all the under, other standard Diva tests and only execute uh, the diagnostic jobs, which can be found at the end of the test module. So you see here there's once, uh, one execution for the valid sequence and one for the ignition on ca case. So we start the measurement, there's a tester popping up, which um, starts the, the job execution and then we are done. In Canoe, test report is generated, we go back to Diva and uh, look at the results. So we did run the test in two uh, variants, once with the ignition on and once with the expectation values. So the first one is the one with the expectation values, there's also the fail, so I will have a look at that. So the test uh, itself starts with sending tester present to give uh, the system some time to to load up um, the diagnostic sequence and start it. We have the uh, setup here with uh, which uh, diagnostic sequence was used, with, with watch parameters and so on. And then we have the diagnostic sequence itself uh, in that section run diag job. Here we can see explicitly listed the output of the diagnostic sequence marked by the tester prefix and the checks that are done by uh, Diva. So Diva checks the standard protocol things like format uh, of requests and responses, um, the response of the, the ECU against the data um, the, uh, diagnostic definitions, so regarding format, regarding data contents of single parameters, and so on. And in this case, we also do check the expectation values, and we see, okay, the year that is reported by this particular ECU is 8, which is not what we expected. We did configure uh, 21, so this is marked as a fail. And then you can see all the services in a row. So like we clicked it in Canoe, hardware version read, software version read, hardware supplier read, and so on um, till the end. And in the end, we uh, the, the test uh, re uh, returns again to a default session. And uh, then we are done with the validation of that particular sequence. This feature allows you to easily prove that your ECU individual diagnostic sequence is covered correctly by the ECU and you can make use of that configuration within the regression test so you can also make sure that this sequence is continuously correctly covered. Thank you for watching. I hope you like that feature. See you next time. Bye.